Anyways, we're back. Or at least I'm back. I don't know if he's here. Doesn't seem like it. Right? Oh, okay, I see. Blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. No. Oh, God, the tutorial's not over. Oh, great. You've seen it use Aqua Jet? No, I haven't. Oh, wait, I see. Hmm. Okay. Let me share some Survey Corpse wisdom, please don't. Focus on a Pokemon with the LZ button, then press the down button to open the Pokedex. I know, we literally just went over this. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with a uh, with how many bidu you've, you've caught. That's right. Catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. Oh god! So I have to repeatedly catch them too. Well, it's time to battle a Pokemon. Remember, the captain's switching wisdom. If you have an item out, press X to ready your Pokeball. Give it a try now. You want? I'll go on ahead. Oh my God! Can't believe how difficult this is. Oh. Tell me, I can't just battle anything I want. Kind of lame. Investigate the video if that bother the village. We've evolved a uh, number of different forms you've obtained. Different forms, well, spoilers. Apparently a different Bidoof form. When we're defeated, how am I supposed to defeat them when they sprint away immediately? Am I gonna get a trip pinch with Arena or something? Like... What game? Number of obese specimen you've caught. Oh, that's a nice way of putting it. Okay, so you still do get experience for just catching Pokemon. Wasn't actually sure if that was the case. I don't actually need to catch a bunch of these, do I? Yeah, I've caught two now. <clears throat> caught three, actually. Oh, hey, welcome back. Well, I was so wrong. I'm gonna... Go on. Good. No, you got it. Okay, I was wrong. The tutorial's not over. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell you this much, because this might save your sanity <laughs> from what I was reading about. Okay. Um, You don't have to... 
like all those like little checkmark things, you don't have to catch a bunch of Pokemon to fill the Pokedex as long as you you can like raise the Pokemon too. So I can evolve them and it'll count. Yeah. But but that's different. It says number evolved. It's different. It's different than the number you've caught. No, but to fill the entire Pokedex, though, because the thing was, a lot of people were like, you have to catch to fill. Oh, no, that would be dumb. Yeah. That'd be dumb. There's no way in hell they would have you do that. Well, based off of, like, everything they showed in the trailers and everything, that's what it was looking like. Oh, yeah, well, I haven't watched all of them. You probably can't even catch... The other starters. That'd be really fucking dumb. Actually, no. Maybe you can. Oh, I guess we'll see eventually. I want something else spoiled on. What the hell is this? It was, uh, the completion of both decks. <laughs> Oh boy. And the guy was like, oh, we're gonna do a no spoiler thing, and he spoiled that. <laughs> oh, nice. It was like, neat. <laughs> Gotta love it. I think you've got it. But as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you're focused on Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. It's just LZ and down. Oh boy. Uh, try taking your tasks for Starly next. One of your tasks is to catch a star without being spotted, right? I'm pretty sure I did that. But for this task, try catching them while hiding some tall grass. I literally did that. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you're finished. More energy of Pokemon's you got the hard will be to catch. You battle a Pokemon and lower its HP. Maybe inflict paralysis on it like the uh like Shinx's move. Another shock. It should be easier to catch. Ah, shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh well. That's so lame. <clears throat> Bye. Alright, you just pissed off. Fucking beat you did that too. But no one gives a shit about Bidiv. Yeah, I didn't actually mean to do that. I went to throw a Pokeball. Run him down! Or throw my... I went to throw Oshawa, not the Pokeball. I don't know if that caught. Or counted. Oh, it did. Oh, nice. What the fuck am I out here for again? I don't know, man. You tell me. I don't fucking know. 
A worm? Uh, yeah, there's that too. I just have to follow and listen to her. What else do you need a worm pull? I need a apparently 100% Starly. You better get grinding that Starly. Yeah, holy shit. Catch 20 of them. Ah! Lady, you better have one damn hell of a good reward for me. I need to evolve three of them too? Jeez. Suck at the room ball. <laughs> I keep like not doing it properly, obviously. meant to do. Oh, it's not running away, though. That other one got the fuck out of there. <laughs> and the other one's like, oh fuck, he's killing Pokemon. Damn it. Not what I wanted to do, game. Jeez, please. Is that a is that a mo Minecraft? Is that a Monster Hunter mining spot? Oh my god, it is! It literally is. There you go, man. Now you can live out your Pokemon Monster Hunter <laughs> dreams. Yeah, man. Go carve that Starly. <laughs> Maybe one day. After uh, they're nice and plump. My god, there's fucking Weasel here. <clears throat> Why well, isn't he attacking? There's no way my Oshwat's that much faster than he is. Uh, he's just looking around. Look at the side. You don't see the right corner? No. It shows the term order. Oh. Oh no, I didn't see that at all. I am super blind, don't worry about it. Oh, Literally fuck, it's Final, it Final Fantasy X. Yeah. Okay, so maybe your speed does matter. Interesting. 
Hi, Boozle. Oh, you want to go? Out of here, trying to fight back. Hmm? There we go. And I was like, it's not even trying to fight back. Yeah. Just looking around. Hi. I go in here. Oh my god! I can swim. Oh, never mind. I can swim as well as Zelda can. Here, you're just playing Buffer Wild. Yeah. <laughs> Breath of the Pokemon. Oh. Rise. Oh. No, no, no. Come here. Oh! Well, I know where to find Eevee now. Where's Spawn? <laughs> yeah, I fucked up. I'll never see it again. Hi. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Breezel. I already got one. Got an aggressive disposition. That was it. Just kind of yeah, I just kind of looked around. It was spacing out. Got an aggressive disposition and is nearsighted. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx. You'll need to battle to catch it. I caught one just fine just throwing the ball at it. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in, da you can tell you're in danger when the edge of the screen turns red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't uh, begin to recover while you're still targeted by wild Pokemon. If you take further damage after the edges of the screens have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. And that's the end of your Nuzlocke. Tears. Speaking of which, your research task for Breezel includes seeing one use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it use a move in battle. That's right, some tasks require battling. Now oh, go ahead. You take care of some of Breezel's search tasks. Our uh, research tasks, then come talk to me. Ah, yes, I already, I already caught one. Did it actually count? I just go talk to her again and be done with it. I guess. I don't know. Going off that top thing there, it sounds like it did. Yeah, it looks like I got it fine. Can you use Aqua Jet? I have not seen that. I wonder if the ones with, um, if the arrows next to them are, like, priority. Wouldn't be able to tell you. Yeah, no, of course not. Didn't expect <laughs> you to be able to. Probably those are the ones you have to do to actually get their Pokedex entry. Yeah, that could be it. Which means you'll definitely be able to catch the other starters if Oshawa is like Oshawa looked like you only have you have one Oshawa. Yeah, I have one of count. five. Yeah. So
I mean, yeah, I already, I already have a weasel. Can't wait to see you catch a Togepi in the wild. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh. Oh, okay. You see, when it was angled like this, I thought it was like missing texture. That's fine. You're doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Ooh. It's fine. It's been fine so far, Kilo. It hasn't been it hasn't been bad at least, other than this going to be for our tutorial. I think he was referencing the uh texture. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. That's fine too. It's not actually missing texture. It just looked like it for a moment. For all we know, those those flowers actually are missing the texture and it just looks like it's supposed to be a purple flower or pink. Whatever. A kit containing everything you need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. You know, that's that's perfectly fine. You can select the craft kit from the key items pocket in your satchel to craft items wherever and whenever you like. However, unlike the workbench, you'll only be able to use the materials in your satchel. Yeah, we just said that. You won't be able to craft more items than your satchel can hold. Here's a recipe for potions, too. Oh, thanks. Orenberry Leap. The crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using materials you have in your satchel. So, I think this is a pretty good critique of this so far. It is kind of annoying how they're basically repeating themselves two to three times every time, you know, they're teaching, quote unquote teaching you something. It's like, yeah, have the characters tell me this. Have the pop-up tell me this. Don't do both. But there's really no need for that. Yeah. And let's be fair. If a five-year-old is playing this and they can't read in the first place, it's not going to matter to them how many times you tell them what they're supposed to do. I feel the, the only justification for it is a child who are probably just like, I don't care about the actual dialogue box, but when those big box comes up, it's like, oh, that's important. I guess maybe you got to think small brain, small. I got to think return to monkey. I just got a ping from somebody asking if I want to play risk of rain too. What? I want to play risk of rain. Oh. Time to time to put him down. Rejected. I'm just going to let that message pass. What? Another streamer came online and was like, the thing came up. I was like, I'm not even going to try to click it. You actually get those pop-ups? I never see those. I don't think I have, like, turned off or anything either. Yeah, I never turned them on or turned them off. I, they just come up. If I'm if I'm watching a streamer and one of my other streamers I follow comes up, it would come up in the corner. Like, I I, I've seen that there. once. <laughs> I've literally seen that once. As long as you've got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make a pokeball anytime. Or an with an orange berry and medical leak, you can make a potion. You can heal your Pokemon. How goes your research? Cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there are any tasks you finished and can report. Task with unreported data 20. What? Where do I report them to? 
Professor Wright, I think. Yeah. Here's a board pack to the professor. Once you've got some research tasks, then done. Sleep. Do it. You have to go over there and make them Skyrim style. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Easy. Feeling worn out, have a rest of the tent at one of our base camps. You can also rest there to pass time. If it's nighttime and you're, sur and you're scared to be out surveying, the tent is a fine option. Please. I'm scared to be out surveying. I wonder boss when you guys like actually fight one of these things. They're bare hands. Right. Hmm. So Starly just don't seem like they'll fight you. At least not right now. Kinda lame. Ooh. Probably gonna be something like there's a passive Pokemon and then aggressive Pokemon. Maybe. Or unless you're like just super, well, I guess maybe not. I was gonna say unless you're faster than them, they will just run away. So it's like fighting a fucking uh, or those creatures. I can't even think of their names. Full blank. It won't let me catch Eevee. It seems. What's up with that? Plus maybe I'm hitting them like during their like. Pissing off animation. Guy yeah, frames. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Are you trying? Were you just using the Pokeball, or were you trying to throw Oshawa? Oh, I tried to use a Pokeball. I mean, I'll try Oshawa next yeah, time. Just try to just go into a battle next time. But like I hit it with the Pokeball and it bounced off like an X. It's like uh Maybe you just gotta beat it down a little. <laughs> yeah, maybe. This is the, uh, pacifist playthrough. Oh, you're never getting Eevee. <laughs> Damn. No longer pacifist playthrough. Surprise attack. Rash or Tiger. They had such an awful fucking <laughs> accent. <laughs> Let's do a jet stream attack. Well, did you just step on me? Okay, so if you beat the shit out of Shanks, uh, you don't get to catch it. Feels bad, man. I thought you kind of would have confirmed that from all the other people. I never <laughs> thought of it. Until now. <laughs> I saw another Shinx, I was like, oh yeah, I was gonna see about murdering that. Kinda sucks you can't use, like, the potions from this, like, menu down in the bottom right.
can do this time. Ooh, master, what was that? Can I get some of these Bidoof, like, out of my inventory? Can I just send this Bidoof away? At least all my Bidoofs. Can I send this Bidoof off to a different kind of pasture? Probably have to, like, go back to the base or whatever. Yeah, probably. What does that mean, master? It has a scroll next to it now. Is that, like, when I can just, like, change at will now or something when I have more moves? Maybe. So this is an Orenberry tree? No. Sureberry. Beedoo. I saw the brown fur and I was like, oh my god, an Eevee. No. No, it is not. Oh my god, this pony duck. This game kind of feels so far like. I don't feel like playing other games. I guess I'll sit down and relax with this. Yeah, which isn't a bad it's, thing. No, but it's not entertaining to really watch. <laughs> yeah. That shit. Okay, so it looks like they have a runaway animation, and when they're doing that, the difficulty changes to an X and you can't try anymore. Oh my god, there's just a fucking rabbit ash here. Is that on the ground? Well, whatever that is. Pivot choke. Okay. Don't you come over here. I don't like those red eyes. I'm gonna stay away from that. You got Aqua Jet, easy. Yeah, I guess the fucking Rabbit Ash. That's at least, what, level 28, is it? And we see how close I can get to it. I wanna see its difficulty. anything. Dude, it is huge, dude. What the hell? This Lubu's uh, rabbit ash? Like... Uh, 40. Really? It's still a 40 for it to evolve? Yeah. Wow. Naturally. Right. But, I mean... You can technically catch them at an earlier level in other games, so... Yeah, but I think they stopped doing that in the recent gens, didn't they? No. Really? Some Pokemon you can still catch earlier in their natural levels. I, like... Wait, wait, no. Come here. Come closer. Shit. Oh, it's, uh... It's level 40. Right, bye. You got Aqua Jet. <laughs> yeah. I know. Number of heavy specimens. That was in a beast speed of. Got him.
know what this kind of reminds me of? Pokemon Snap. But not on rails. Another boring ass game. Huh. I don't oh. care how much people say they like that shit. Rabbit Ash is only 1.7 meters tall. That one's apparently not. That one's apparently massive. Boiled Apricorn. Apricorn that had its insides eaten. Hitting a Pokemon with one may stun the Pokemon, creating an opening for you to act. Now I actually have rocks I can throw. Feels good, man. Yeah, now you're truly playing the Safari Zone. Serious dust that can raise the effort level of one of the Pokemon's stats. Use raise. Uh, it can be used to raise effort levels only up to three levels. However, okay. I wonder if anything actually changes that night time. Dust gloves and ghastlies only. I can't wait to get shit on by a fucking Gengar immediately. What is that? Oh, that's a really if that's what happens. <laughs> yeah, it would be. I would not appreciate that. It'd be cool at first, and then you'd be like, oh yeah, there isn't really that many ghost Pokemon. <laughs> Effort level? Yeah, I have no clue, Kilo. Would it just be like EVs? Yeah, yeah the only thing I can think of is EVs, but it also might not be. I'm pretty sure those are in this game is EVs and IVs. They're still in this game. Oh, it's off. A lot of them around here, huh? Oh. Yeah, that felt really short. This is starting to look a little, uh, world bordery to me. Oh, maybe not. Oh, hi. Okay, no. Okay, uh, uh, that is a world border. Never mind. Hi. Oh ho. If it isn't a crafting kit. Must have listened to Hanavita Akira's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. Don't call me that. It seems to be a good, uh, good time to explain to you about survey reports. 
and the rewards they offer. When you submit a survey report, you receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You'll receive more money if you filled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed so far. Oh, and a back strike. If you get them from behind, you get like a higher chance to catch them, I guess. Circles. Yeah, man, backstabbing with Pokeballs. Mm hmm. I see. Most illuminating. We'll update our Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise the Pokemon's level to level 10, that entry will be considered complete, and you will have unlocked all of the detailed information that had to be it had. You will unlock all the detailed information to be had about that species. As you carry out tasks and complete Pokedex entries for the different species, you'll also gain research points. Which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Oh my god, they're in color now. Oh. Oh, I see. So what you have to do to get the Pokédex entry I get it up to a is, of yeah, 10. get the points up to a total of 10. Okay. That's very different. Yeah, you could just have one Pokémon just raise it then. Mm -hmm. oh, that's much better. What's the different form like? What do you mean? Oh, that? The number of different forms? I just assume that means that there's a variant of Bidoof in the game somewhere. Number of different forms you've became. I. Okay, now I'm confused. Where are you? I'm not seeing that. I'm not really looking. I can't. I'm sitting further away now. Uh, Kilo was asking about the different form. What's the different form like? And. You go to the other page, unless you cycle through them. I was about to. Oh, male and female, I see. I didn't know there was a difference between male and female Starly. Uh, Bidoof has a extra spike on its ass, or bulb, I guess. Okay, so I guess that's not what different form means. Hair is longer for male chinks. They just add like gender differences for all the Pokemon in this. Shinx had that. Really? I don't know about the other ones though. Okay. I'm currently ranked up. We've made good progress on these research tasks, Zeal. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to the captain. It's time you earned yourself a star. Man, day two of being in this world, I'm already rank one. This looks very different. I guess it's just because of the lighting. Hi, oh, you're the pasture. You are. Every time you say pasture, I think you keep saying pastor. <laughs> yeah. Are you the priest? 
minimal effort, it seems. Eh, it's still something, at least, Kilo. Best trousers. Like Pokemon's the... middle name. <laughs> yeah. Minimal effort. Pocket minimal effort monsters. The pasture houses the many Pokemon you catch. Collect them from here to change up your party. Do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? Yes, get these Bidoof the fuck out of my party. God, they just start breeding in there. <laughs> you got you have to catch a single ditto and leave it in there. <laughs> and just see. Yeah. <laughs> That diddle single-handedly repopulate the earth. Actually, no, hang on. Wait, is this a... Yeah, it's a Jolly Star. That's pretty lucky. What about Shinx? And eh, not so much. What about these Shinx? Only an impish. You can get out of my party. You have to organize it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, let me let me do that real quick. Yeah, I wonder if I can do this and can I like multi release these. No, damn, minus one point for this game. What about Weasel? I don't have another form for Weasel, I only caught like one or two of them. I apparently didn't catch like a male or female one. I caught two females apparently. Pretty sure that's marking I saw on it. If you have progress report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. How oh, dare you not have this 100% already? <laughs> hmm, you've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. Why, North Star? <gasps> the fist of the North Star? Can I? <laughs> I'll run up on a fucking level 40 rapid dash. Now use heavy balls. Dude, what if I'm a champ? Just came out of nowhere and used hot shinkin' on you. I'd say well met before dying. <laughs> now use heavy balls. Can I have a recipe for heavy balls? Pokemon to level 20 will obey you. Rewards you earn. Uh, or your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have these as well. They are uh, further recipes you'll need it for crafting. Heavy balls? Okay. Apricorn Black Tumblestone. Revives. Vivid Chokes and Medical Leaks. Ah, I know, I just gotta go buy that rabbit ash to get those. It's cool. A stranger like you should fall from the sky. Can you drop it? Like Arceus dropped me. Please. Yet yeah, flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. It wasn't really that hard. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. When am I going to get to battle other people? Keep at it, and even if you did fall from... Hmm? You're asking for too much. Yeah, I guess. You get the battle, male Cynthia. That's it. 
will forever be known as the stranger who fell from the sky. God, imagine like the legends being passed down and like, th like this guy will like grow up and have a family and he'll have descendants, and like in the future, like people will be talking like, "Oh, do you remember that guy who fell from the sky like a thousand years ago and conquered the lands? It was amazing." Your family's gonna be like, "Yeah, no, my ancestors had like horrible trauma from like falling from the sky, and you know he should have been dead." People just kept bringing it up, and he like couldn't get over it because of that. And everybody would be like, no, no, I can't be it. The heroes, the, the legends say nothing about that. Like, yeah, because they wouldn't fucking listen to him. Keep at it, even if you did fall from the sky, okay? People may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be of a help if you wish to make your life here. You wish to make a life here for yourself. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower, and a good night's rest. Dude, what if this character is, uh, the ancestor of the guy from Johto who makes all the apricor apricorn balls? And it's a family secret that only his family re remember now? They're not different colored apricorns. Yeah, it's a shame. So zeal, my boy, don't call me that. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Hold on, earning your first star. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Please stop smiling. Both of you. If you let your guard down, you might just snap another picture of you. Mm-hmm. I wanted to sit here and see how long they would keep the mouths moving, but I don't think they're going to stop. No. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey corpse duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on a request from that... Uh, you've already taken on... No. I don't know why I'm second-guessing myself. Yeah. Which reminds me, have you already taken on that request from the Bureau Guard? Yeah, it's only to go fuck himself. The people in Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arise, the Survey Corp gets called to help. Indeed so. Some people ask you for help when you talk with them, while others' requests will be claimed that the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached uh, with a request recently, Akira? What's that all about? About that. I was thinking maybe Zeal could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Oh, you're fucking trash. Ah, uh, yes. That request came from Mia. Of the Diamond Did I hear Clan. magical words? <laughs> Content? <laughs> I can't believe it. This shit's gonna happen? Maybe? The request came from Mia of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui... Since before uh, Galactic Team arrived, we could establish a good relationship. I'm sure there's much we could learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. With the amount of dialogue and, like, talk, uh, talking constantly, this is much more, like, an RPG, I guess. Or, like, like, eh, like, more, like, not traditional, because traditional ones are turn-based. You walk in a map and you don't know what you're doing because nobody will tell you. Other than saying to go back to Professor Oak, but then he doesn't actually want to see your ass because you don't have the Pokedex to complete. Feels bad. <laughs> Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? No. I'm gonna have to use your help with. Sure. Thank you, I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. 
You caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. So she wants to battle. She wants to be taught how to battle from the kid that just fell out of the sky. Or that it do go down in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck was the clothing store again? You. A special parcel has arrived with your name on it. Surprised there's no voice acting? That's too much effort from Game Freak. You received a modern jacket, a pair of modern trousers, and a pair of modern shoes. What a precious gift. And you people are telling me that I look fucking strange. You have modern clothing. And from Nintendo. Nintendo can't be bothered to have more than, like, basic grunts in their game. Like, very few lines of actual dialogue. Like Breath of the Wild had, like, the most dialogue any Nintendo game has ever had. <laughs> it was just Link screaming. Is that What are these? What are... Shaman Fancy Kimono and Shaman Fancy Bottoms? Why are you giving me these? What am I doing for these? Oh, you just... You're just their slave. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay, now I can buy clothing. I can also just change clothing right here. Oh, the professor's around. You better watch out. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. I don't know if that's really... I actually know that. It's pretty close. I'm now actually a member of Team Galactic. Damn, Cyrus. <laughs> you know, Cyrus had a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind becoming God. There we go. And now Cyrus. I get the teal hair. Ugh, ugh, shit. You and okay, man. This game's putting me to sleep. <laughs> ah, perfect. This is what I want to be running around with, right? They'll never see me coming. Hey, we're just blowing right into the grass. Yeah. They'll see that color, the, the little, like, the pinkish color on you, and they'll just think you're a Lickitung. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, when I was a child, Lickitung used to freak me out. <laughs> I can't imagine why. <laughs> huh. Nope. It really came, came from Pokemon Stadium. That's where it really started. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't imagine why that would be, you know, something that would... Possibly freak out a child. Oh, there we go, man. Being real weeby now. Working in the rice fields. Yeah, man. There's no way that like, they won't actually give you a rice hat, though. That's lame. Maybe later. Yeah, maybe later. I mean, this might, this very well might not be, like, the only store. Like, you're surrounded in, like, farmland. Like, let me be a farmer. <laughs> I mean, there's literally a guy over there that I'm pretty sure you saw earlier that had a rice hat. I think so, actually. If it was, if it was culturally appropriate, I would rock one for summer. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> yeah, man. 
Yeah, the Boston Book and some uh, Rapidash. You're gonna get fucking tackled and do a wake up shower, you can. They'll never know. Oh, I should get the goddess sandals or whatever these are called. So, you know, my feet not being on the ground will be a bit less jarring. Everything will hear for like miles away. <laughs> yeah, the true way to be stealthy. You gotta get like the. <laughs> you gotta get the fucking Hayachi ones that are made of cement. Yeah, let me get right on that. Where's the hairstyles? Why don't you sell hairstyles, lady? Yeah, let me sell you this wig real quick. What a trash fashion shop you are. Oh god. The military cut. I've been enlisted. <laughs> yes, that's good. Very bright. Is this? Oh, the eyebrows. Dude, this man's got some magic. He just made my grow my my hair grow by like. Four years in an instant. You don't know his like true technique is just to take a ditto and put it on your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that clipping! Oh God! I guess it's fine normally, but that like angle that they gave me on it was very, very clear. Hi, right, what do you have? Something you want? It's yours for a price. If it's not here, by all means, craft it yourself. Bye, Pepper. Here's a rice ball. Cake lore base. Type of lore, uh, type of field provision that enhances the flavor of other foods mixed in with. I guess you can eat out in the fields. I, th I guess. It says lore, which makes me feel like it's for fishing. It also makes me feel like it could be for Pokemon. I don't know, man. Well, yeah. I mean, like, on land. Like how in the Safari Zone you'd grow, uh... I just harvest these. I have these flowers. No? you follow me? No. Lame. Uh, like how in the Safari Zone you'd, like, throw out treats to get some Pokemon to stay? Yeah, but lure is, like, very obvious. Like, that word is very particular. <laughs> True. A warm pull you can give me? Sure. I guess. Here. Really brought me one. He must be good at he must be as good as the rumors saying. Uh-huh. I'd like to name this warm pull right away. Now that I've been told a warm pull will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly. Ooh. I shall give it a name with that in mind. 
He doesn't know. It's not going to be beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> this one's going to be a cascoon. And evolve into dust stocks. Poor dude. Which of these do you like best? Utica, Utifred, or Eugena? I hate all of these. What about you? Any 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 preferred one for you? Which one sounds the worst, actually? And if you're looking for the one that sounds the worst, it's the middle one. Yeah, I thought so too. The bottom one just sounds dumb, and the top one's the only one that sounds the best of the three. The middle one just sounds like I hate my Pokemon. <laughs> Are you sure it's going to it's the dust stocks? Yeah, I like Beauty Fred too. I guess that's decided then. I'll raise Beauty. <laughs> I'll raise Beauty Fred to be a splen splendiferous beauty fly. Wait and see. Aha. Uh -huh. Dazzling honey, huh? Honey that sparkles with an ember hue, it's beloved by bug type Pokemon. Pokemon with fairy like charms. They will gather when the comb is thrown. Interesting. Let's train around. Didn't even realize I was running too. So we have crusts around here. I just go in here. Oh, I'm not going to. And Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes. You know the professor said they do. I'll have to find, but I have a hard time believing it's. True, unless I see it. Completely just ad lib that, it's fine. If there really are weasel bigger than mine, love to see them alongside the one I have. For comparison's sake. Can we get a banana for scale? You're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. Catch a weasel bigger than mine. Would you let me have it? Make it worth your wild. And Some lazy sons of bitches. Right? And how big of a weasel exactly do you want? Then we go get some weasel, I guess. Catch a big weasel and give it to him. Okay, I guess I have one. I guess I only caught one of them. Here, you can have this one. That's a big weasel. Put them side by side. It's almost like the one bigger one is this little one's older sibling. Look how the tip of the little one's snout points up when it looks at us. What a precious little thing. The big one's flotation sack. There's something reassuring about how large it is. Don't you think? God damn, that's some size difference, right? Like, holy crap. Plenty of Pokemon of the same species can seem so different depending on which one's bigger. Keeping an eye on Pokemon's size when you're catching them might spice up your excursions. Yes, I'm looking for a fucking Hogapi sized Snorlax. Do you have any information for me? You have to find this tiniest Eevee and evolve it. <laughs> Thank you for your favor. No you survey corpse folks. Work is no joke. So keep at it. I'll be rooting for you. What's my reward? Oh, XP candies are in this. Great. <laughs> Holy crap. I wonder if that's actually the size of the weasel I caught or if that's just for like this quest. I mean I did tell you they're all different sizes. <laughs> I mean yeah, but 
I don't know if that was actually the size of one that I had. Actually, speaking of... Yeah, they tell you the height and everything in here. Does that mean... Oh, there's... There are items you are other people lost. Oh yeah, if you... Yeah. Fine. <laughs> You'll figure it out. Yeah, it's gonna tell me right now. Is it? The reading tutorial? Yeah, totally. I took my glasses off, I can't see the screen anymore. No. I'm laying in my bed as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sleep. If you black out in the field, you may lose some of your items. However, players from all over the world can find your lost items and send them to you via the internet. You have yeah, internet yeah. back in the day? Literally what I was going to say. <laughs> the system's called the Lost and Found. You pick up a satchel that someone lost. Be sure to pick it up. If you find a satchel that somebody lost, be sure to pick it up. The satchel you retrieve will be returned to its owner. And you can receive merit points as reward. You get re you receive good citizen points. Merit points can be exchanged for items by trading at the trading post in Jubilee Village. Pick up lost satchels whenever you find them. And you may, just may, be able to get your hands on some very special items. I don't remember picking these up. Basically, you're reliant on... Well, you're not reliant, but if you ever want to see a satchel, you're just hoping that someone else is really fucking bad at the game. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, huh? Unless, like, someone got ran down by Rapidash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to go fair. back to where Rapidash is <laughs> and look around. There's apparently three of them at the moment, unless I have these somehow. Contains 15 items, including rare candies. Can I just have those? Right, connection on. I'm at connect, yes. I need a new picture of my character. It's not what I look like anymore, game. Oh, go meet the fucking professor. No. <laughs> Can't make me. I want to trade Pokemon. What? Oh. Okay, so there is internet connection for this game. It's just, uh, I'm just gonna tell you. You can trade Pokemon, but you can actually catch everything in one game. Oh. So you don't have to bother trading, but you can. Okay. I mean, what if I want to get a ditto from somebody else, huh? Then you can. Yeah, then I can get eggs faster. I don't know if the Masuda method or any of those other things are in this game, but sure, go Surely for it. Surely it is, right? I also don't think it matters, because I don't think you can transfer these Pokemon to any of the other games. Not the moment, not until the Pokebank is, you know, fixed. You know, you can send them to the Pokemon Home, you just can't send them anywhere else. No, the Pokemon Home isn't compatible with this yet. They said it wouldn't be until, like, February for this in Diamond and Pearl. Unless it's updated now, and I just don't know it. I didn't get a notification for it when I brought it up. Linking cord. That just looks like two USB sticks for connectors. It would have been nice if they used like the actual link cable from like the GBA or Game Boy or something, but no. Gotta yeah, be generic as fuck. What the fuck? 
That makes it sound like it's like a trade evolution item. What fucking Pokemon uses a cable? I don't know. So. I mean, as far as I know, there's only one new Pokemon in this game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I saw it in the trailer, so. Let's see, protect us a Rhyperior, Electivire, and Magmanor are in this game. This is just spoiler. Spoiler territory. Oh my god, Porygon. When will I be able to make Rick? This makes sense because it is from Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, Electivire too. No. And Porygon Z is as well, so. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Yeah. Yeah, very. Listen. I've had an epiphany. And that is. You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly. But we work yet, yeah, uh, but we got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. You have a Pokemon? Yes. Here, this is my partner, Pikachu. Oh, you're actually trash. <laughs> I hate it. When we were attacked by those Shinx, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle it. Battling as a team. You know, she's. Trying to hide the fact that her Pikachu is what actually paralyzed her. <laughs> Ever since then, my partners refuse to listen to anything I tell them. Is it fucking paralyzed you? <laughs> you were a bitch and he paralyzed you and he left you for dead with those shanks. But they took pity on you and didn't eat you. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him. How to guide him in battle. Biga? I don't think that's what Pikachu says. But when I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we need to do... We need to do more, too. But please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight efficiently. Or effectively. You literally just said that a Pikachu won't listen to you. Beat my Pikachu into sensibility. <laughs> Make it listen. <laughs> That's pretty much what she just asked. Ow. I'm gonna lose this fight. What the hell is this? Agile style? Boost power and effects are reduced, and returning next turn becomes more likely to keep them sooner. So it is literally far next time, you can just pay attention to that sidebar. Yeah, I see. But never mind. Easy. Your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. Uh huh. Dude, you've trained for this. You competed in the game. You fucking hate it just for this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even complete that game with Ashwat. Who? Thank you for shitting on us. I could be wrong, but for a moment, I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood what it was like to be trashed together. Actual dialogue. <laughs> Close enough. Let's keep working together at it, okay, Pikachu? Be God. You got some sort of defective Pikachu. It just has a really deep voice. Yeah. Guess I was wrong then. But I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner, the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can 
bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called pipes, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Yeah, that fucking spark hurt. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. Mm-hmm. Well, it has to be an electric type. How'd you know? It shot electricity at one time. <laughs> it paralyzed me. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the first time they've actually ever shown and like explained this type matchup. Look at this. Oh wait, you can't. You're blind. Yeah, I'm seeing a screen, but uh I'm seeing circles and whatnot, but I can't see exactly what it's telling me. But I can imagine. Uh it's showing like a chart of the actual like type matchups, even though it's not super explanatory. On the other games, you you they kind of do it in the beginning of the game. Don't they just like they mention it? it? They don't show it in chart. If you usually go every most, I don't know if every game. I'm pretty sure every game has it. They have like a the preschool thing with the, the little school shit. You can mm -hmm. go in there, and that usually talks about type advantages. It doesn't tell you like directly though. What like well, not for every one of them, does it? Doesn't it? Tell you for all of them. It just kind of leads you along to be like, hey, here's ideas of what it is go experiment this is mostly a complete list it looks like which makes less sense oh dear god what is that that's a mess yeah it's kind of messy it doesn't even like show the entire thing because it's partially cut off oh god oh god it shows the other half like on the second page why don't you just give one page with the full thing it probably has the full thing somewhere else. So you're the one. The new recruits everyone's talking about. Oh god. Hi. The name's Zisu, Captain of the Security Corps. There's your body, the other woman. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've come. I see you've got some fight in you. Here, I'd stop by and give a word of advice. Captain Zitsu is a matter of ancient martial arts, one that style one that specialized in Pokemon battles. What are you telling me is she specialized in beating the shit out of other Pokemon with her bare hands? Yeah, man, when that rapid that level level forty rapid dash comes from her, she fucking chokes it. She she suplexes it like that one gift from the anime saw before. <laughs> Now listen, if your Pokemon truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. I have noticed. On one hand, you can choose to deliver move in the strong style. Move will deal more damage, but afterwards it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash the move in the agile style. Such move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. It truly favors conditions. It might even get two moves out before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Once your Pokemon has mastered a move, you can have it used move. Yeah, agile style, blah, blah, blah. Pressing the right or left button, uh huh. Surprise Pokemon will naturally master a move and unlock these extra conditions by leveling up. So, Agile Style reduces the power of the move, raises the user's action speed, and uses more PP. Strong Style boosts the power of the move, lowers the user's speed, and uses more PP. Got it. I'm gonna guess it takes double. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Zitsu's teaching could serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now, I suppose the time I... Uh, I want to meet Mai. <sighs> or May. Whichever one. Remember, I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. I'm to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well, 
once you've ready your Pokemon team and perhaps had them learn some new moves from Zitsu. Good luck. Exchange items. Interesting. Interested in an item exchange. What is it you're in the market for? Uh, Master Ball. Gravel? Gravel, sure. You have 10 stacks of grit dust to trade. You don't. Gravel? 10 stacks of gravel. Why does it take 10 gravel to get a pebble? Excuse me? Dude, we're in it for the long ride. And then to get a rock, you need 10 pebbles. If you have gravel, you'd have several pebbles. Or if you don't have several pebbles, you'd still have... If you don't have several rocks or pebbles from the gravel, you'd still have a pebble. I don't know gravel. All those things... Technically, in a way, all the fucking same thing. I'm aware. But well, people generally consider rocks quote-unquote bigger sometimes, maybe. Depending on who you ask. I can whip moves. a rock through someone's skull. Same way I can rip a fucking pebble through someone's skull. It's the same thing. It's a hard object that moves really fast when I throw it. Crack their skull into a snubway windshield. Normal stuff. Yeah, that was a rock. Yeah, his head was the rock. It's calcium. <laughs> Ooh, false swipe. Rock smash aerial ace. No, let's get false swipe. <sighs> That's nice to just get. One time uses? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, hang on. I wanted to. Uh... This. Oh god, it's not just a full picture. Why can't it just be a full chart? Because fuck you. Oh god. You should know this, Fivehead. I mean, I do know most of it, but holy shit. That's bad. So, five hours into the game, we've battled twice. Well, we've battled the yeah, person I'm, twice. I'm like literally at the position of falling asleep. <laughs> oh, hi. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. No. I was trying to anyway. The secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see, it's still a fucking tutorial. That's what I call the secret backstrike technique. I've apparently already learned this. Any Pokemon's back to their Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Any wild Pokemon from the back is a higher chance of catching, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, hey. This guy sounds confident. Why isn't he doing this shit? Right? You're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create the Pokedex, as they all are. You might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisu. You should know that I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Hmm. The marvelous rich tone. How is it produced, I wonder? Er, hello, didn't see you there. But you're from the Survey Corps, wonderful, just the first person I needed. I want to learn more about Cricketune. No, you don't. Cricketone. 
You must be curious about them as well, right? I mean, how do they make those sounds of theirs? The musical met, uh, mystery like no other. And being your debt, if you complete Cricketune's page in your Pokédex, then show it to me. So I, or I mean, we can uncover the truth. Okay. Oh, you're the boy from the Survey Corps? Who fell from the sky, right? Why does everybody know? Listen here, I need to tell you, I need you to tell me this great cake lore recipe I invented. Help. I'm losing it. Listen here for a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lore recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up this recipe. And I know uh, it's a winner. The problem is the folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. We're here to talk to the town, or village. People see you making my mushroom cakes, they miss as you are. I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe, all you have to do is, in return, Spread the word by using it. Oh, you'll get yourself the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Oh, you'll need to get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. You suck. Scrounge not from the forges, a uh, forges of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One springy mushroom is all you need. I'll be waiting. Oh, you suck. I'm done with Bidu, right? Yeah. No. No, I am not. I was kind of hoping that would change the animation for that. Oh well. Why does my Oshawa not have... ...all swipe? Oh, I see. Get to teach it to him and then manually confirm it. Got it. In like the other menus. Yeah, just make it a little more complicated. Mm hmm.
Alright, so if you hit him in the back, they won't run away. You stun him. Got it. That star just flew away. No, they can actually fly. They can use their wings? Yeah. Crazy, right? Wild. Thought they were just like penguins or some shit. It's nice that while they're running, they turn their back to you. Ah, damn it. Alright. Let's see what that's about. What rare items is this gonna give me? Stardust and Tumblestone. Okay. I guess. Let's see, where was the spot where I first found an Eevee? I think it was this way. off. Uh, it was the 
this way, maybe? Hmm. Maybe not. Already lost. I know it's by the water, but... Is that... Is that over there? Is that a diglet? No. What is this? Wood? Okay. Just go past them. Oh, there's a uh, higher level Pokemon here. Some Beautifly. Take him. You're not aggressive, right? We're cool. You can take him. You got this, man. Okay, no, maybe it's aggressive. Level 21. Can't capture it. Lame. Pokemon have you beat up yet? Plenty of them, Crow. Go kick the shot of that worm pole. I already did a couple. Apparently they get XP just from gathering shit. Iron chunk. Not working. And I just lost sound for some reason. What is with that happening today? Nothing new. Yeah, that's not. 
Oh my god, there's Snorlax. I found him. All over. But is it the biggest? No, definitely not. <laughs> oh. I don't know what level it is. No, Snorlax, wait. Ah, nerd. What you gonna do, huh? Is that demon right? Wait, no, get out of the water. What if the Pokemon guarding this area over here change? Now that it's night time. There's a series of fucking hunters. What's up? It's just gonna be a series of hunters. Yeah, that'd be something, wouldn't it? Also, I wasn't expecting him to just charge up the mountainside like that. Oh, no, it'll just him. There's like iron and shit up there. You can clearly get up there. Piss off. Is that like black or no? No, it is not. More drift. Not a found great.
What's sparkly? I want that. Oh, there's a different art color. Hmm. I want to know how to get up there. Also, damn, that launch. Okay, there's like no way in hell I'm going to be able to get up there, huh? That's a shame. I'm providing nothing to this, so bye. <laughs> yeah, alright, man. Now, maybe if there was, you know, more stuff happening. Oh, that was a fun few hours with him here. And, you know, he's probably about to fall asleep. Can't blame him. I'm actually not sure how much longer I'm going to go anyways. I've been up since like 6 a.m. at 10 currently. I wasn't actually expecting to get out of that for some reason. Around here is where I first saw the EV. Nice if I could find one. It's coming daytime, so I guess they spawn soonish. Looks like if I go to the other side of this river, I can eventually get up there. Which it does not look like I'll be able to do. Pretty confident I will drown if I try this, but... Oh yeah, no way in hell.
Oh, hey, Rabbit Ash. Mm -hmm. yeah. This way. You work, yo. Around. Don't you look at me. Turn around. I just. Just walk behind you and do this. No, damn. Well, that report. Great. Actually attack. That was a crit, great. Oh well, I guess I'll just head towards the objective. Why not? Actually, want to battle a few more.
I believe Oshawa evolves at 16. It would be nice to hit that. How's that not a backpack? Out of the way. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. Can't leave past unless you're first. Oh. Hey, your rank, you should be just fine. Go on then. Let your guard down now. Treat to safety, find yourself in trouble. Uh huh. Over here. My, this is Zeal. My, my, new face in the village. Not that it matters if you're, uh, not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I seem prepared to be of help. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is. If you're new to Hisu. Hisui. Well, such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. We have a problem that I need solving. So, the important question is, do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Yeah. That's good to hear. That security corpse of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He bells at my side by choice, without needing any silly little balls you like to use. Watch and learn. Oh my god, the third battle? Well, that hurt. Damn, dude. Punch Lux isn't playing. Really? Oh, it was a fucking crit, of course. That's annoying. I really doubt I have anything that outspeeds that. No, Drifflin might have this. Oof, yep. Crits hurt. Oh, Drifflin's apparently way faster, what the hell?
That sucks. I just missed out on so much XP. You really aren't one of the us uh, usual uh, Galaxy Buffoons. You can defeat my partner. Your partner's cheating with fucking crits and being tanky as hell at level like nothing. Well thought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. Oh, thanks. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. Hey. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one. Rather like, <clears throat> rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of to our children. Did he also fall from the sky? I do think you're the one for the job. You see, need some help to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. Is a large, fearsome foe like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you? Did you track heights? I guess. Oh, hang on, my cell's ringing. What the fuck is that? Dark phone's beeping. The thing you have there is showing you where you've got to go, isn't it? How do you know that? Oh my, that is uh, some sort of curious map. Is that one of those Galaxy Team Inventors inventions I keep hearing about? No. I got this from God. It certainly does seem to show the way up to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. They'll do great out there. I know it. Seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. I have a name. Though, so, before we continue, I must ask. You already know about the Almighty Sinnoh. Ah. Uh, what? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to stretch, uh, scratch out the basics. Catch out. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of Hisu was born in the process. By its grace of by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh, that Pokemon can live and thrive here. With the Diamond Clan are descendants of the people who crossed the sea and settled here. In the Hisu region, you venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh was only rarely seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. There are still Pokemon here today in Isui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it's the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. The tables have turned. I am now the one that stalks in this fall grass. Thank <laughs> you. 
guess just tapping the button really quickly. Like, basically just doesn't throw the ball. At least not for the Pokeballs. You're throwing out your own Pokemon, it works fine. No weasel piss off. Hey there, mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries. You know them. Shiny red ones. They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. You're taller than... Like, pretty much any Pokemon I've seen other than that Rabidash so far. Why don't you just reach up? They're not that high. Fuck, I can reach them, and I'm shorter than you. That's where you come in, friend. One of your Pokeballs, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Here. You can throw a bear near a wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. I'm gonna give it a try and some cricketune around here. No. No, I don't think I will. Fifteen Pokeballs, that's not bad. Oh my god, a Geo dude. Wanna go? Nice. A oh, tumble stone. Not bad. Really? What you gonna do about it? Huh? Oh no. And evolve. Okay. Guess we finally get to see how that works. Oh. Okay. Just hover over and press X. Got it. This is where all the animation budget went. Look at this. Ah, damn.
black or heavy balls. Nice. It became a tick back. Oh my god, the Starly actually attacks. Holy damage. What the fuck? I can't just do that. Fine, screw you guys. Oh. Zagra to me, so it won't work, huh? Yeah, there's some grit dust. What was that? Why are you moving? Gotta do that. Oh, there's a geodude under it. Or there, that was the geodude's head. Hard to say. Excuse me? Oh. Guess they tried hitting the psychic or some shit. So if I had to guess, these are probably statues of the Pokemon. I'm not really sure what it would be. I feel kind of fucked up to be really guessing. So it seems like if you crouch, you can walk up to slopes like this better.
Oh, great. I can't heal that. Oh, they heal from it naturally. Nice. Actually, let's make a couple more potions. Special's full of other items. Oh, I see. This is literally how many items I can hold, huh? What is this? Chestoberry? Eh. I don't know. Whatever, I guess. Oh wait, level 16. Oh, can't evolve yet, huh? Oh. You want me to actually talk to you and not just go here? of them? No? Hmm. Oh, wait, no, we do. We have multiple of them. The Spirit and Smoke? This isn't a multi battle, it's like a. Uh, what is it? There's a name for it, I can't remember at the moment though. Pretty 
where you basically fight and the opponents keep coming until like one of you lose. Elimination? Is that it? Elimination battle? I literally cannot hit you with these other moves. Please die. Can you heal my Pokemon? So, even your professor decided to join us. Ugh. Ooh, thank goodness I got here in time. As Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha. Now, could I? I? Suppose that's your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to special Pokemon. Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. It's not just a fucking Stantler, is it? Oh fuck, it's the pervert again. Ugh, that's a cricket tune. That's not it. It's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. That's what you're here for, Zeal. To drive the interloper from this place. Well, I'm sure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Nice. Upon my word, we're a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land. If they're all oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big though. They're strong and may know moves that others of their kinds do not. They're naive to be trifled with. Let me tell you nonetheless. I believe you are stronger still than this alpha, so show it that go show it that beyond any mistake. Be careful, Zeal. His eyes is a potent weapon weapon in and of itself. No doubt the Alpha is powerful and a hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Alpha Pokemon. Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called Alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and may know moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. No. No. Fucking save. Here it is. Won't even let me look at its level. I wonder if I could have walked around it. Press the Y button during the battle to check the action order. Yeah. This shows the order in which Pokemon will take their turns. Yep. The action speed of a Pokemon is based on its speed stat, but it can also be affected by certain moves and items. Pokemon with very with a high action speed may be able to act multiple times in a row. Ow. I don't know if I have the liberty to do Swords Dance. Ah, it'll be fine. Oh, 
long as it doesn't crit like that. That apparently wasn't a crit, but it did way more damage. Great. Fuck. Well, I'm not gonna win that. Lame. You serious? Wow. Bullshit. I think it's gonna be the uh, second move. I forgot I had, like, higher level Drift Loon. It's a shame. Perhaps I had more XP that Oshawa's just missing out on. Very impressive one, aren't you? I someone beat an Alpha like that. It truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. Best to make sure Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. What in the world? It's literally a Sandler. God damn it. It's the great Radier. I have this. Is this for me? And it speak. It looks upon you with kindness, Zeal. I must catch it. Throw a Pokeball at it. I'd say the great Rudir has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to all of us. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why? It's just like the ride Pokemon of Aloha. I'm sorry, what? You, you know about other regions? Professor Leventon. Leventon. Zeal. 
captain sent me. He said that once Zeal carried out this request, he'd be able to set up a base camp. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adam. Adamon. And the commander. But it's still... It truly is... Is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? But I thought this was the past. I thought this was the past, too. Maybe they just know of the other regions, but they, like... I don't fucking know. I don't know. I mean, they have, like... Cameras. I guess, so I guess it's not, like, ancient past. I'm sure they have, like, boats and stuff, maybe. They said they crossed the seas to get here. I don't know. I was under the impression this was, like, way long ago. And then, like, you know, Professor with his lab coat over here. The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, then I imagine you should be allowed to use this land. The Great Word here is taking a liking to Zeal as well. This is a good sign. Give my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will show... Our clan leader will hear how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation for the pro uh, proper reward as soon as I can. I'd like a reward now. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon. We need to stop fearing them starting and start getting to know them better. Let's start with completing the Pokedex. Anyway. We should be able to have base... We should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction corpse arrives. Here we have it. New base camp upon Gear Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. What a creative name. From now on, when you set out of the village, you can ask the escort to this base camp. Start your excursions directly from here. Nice. Having another base camp to start from will be of great help on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. Let's uh, let's say we all head back to well, to the wildflower. Pretty good. Hey, Ashwat's finished. He is finished. Uh, need to go like kill some Starly. I mean, fight some Starly. Jinx, Wormpole. Uh, Pony will take a couple more. I am just giving it food. Oh. Okay. Drifloom got finished quick, it seems. Quite rank two. Benio Chum, the usual potato mochi, please. 
and make it for three today as well. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied Calivor from the rumors it ended up mauling some of our uh, galaxy folks who went out to investigate this morning. Ooh. The milk corpse has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, uh, this is the Calivor that was reportedly stuck by powerful, uh, struck by powerful lightning. Yes. I did hear he's been behaving rather erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokémon. I'm sure Zeal here can handle things just fine. Are you certain? I've heard Calvers so mighty even Alpha Pokémon don't compare to him. No, no, you forgot that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information. That we have the Survey Corps are duty bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clan head and a fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this meal. Carry the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. Oh, hey, Lapa Berries. Nice. Naturally occurring hunk of iron, such ores needed to make the requisite parts for numerous Pokeball varieties. Such as the clasp that holds the ball shut. Take some heavy balls. Five revives is probably good for now. Oh, I forgot balls at seventeen. Weird. Well, I don't like the way its head distorted. And now we have a duot. Nice.
Can I cook? No. Flame. Alright, it's been pretty close to 13 and a half hours. I'm I'm gonna call it there for the day. I need to go to sleep. This game's been surprisingly fine. It's had a really slow, right, really slow, I mean extremely slow opening. But I think we're possibly starting to get into the actual game. Hopefully. I'll probably stream it again tomorrow. Not sure if I'm going to go straight into this or something else, but I guess we'll see. I don't think anybody I know is streaming at the moment. Check real quick. If which wants to load. Doesn't seem like it wants to. Mm. Yeah, nobody. Alright, well, I'm just gonna end then. Alright, see you guys. Have a good night.